Prepare to read many kinds of matter. Genre study. Informational text is nonfiction. It gives facts about a topic. As you read many kinds of matter, look for captions with art or photos, photographs, how visuals and words work together to help you understand the text. Set a purpose. Read to make smart guesses or inferences about things the author does not say. Use clues in the text and photos to help you. Power words. Amount. Material. Space. Example. Easily. Forms. Planet. Tasty. Build background. Solids, liquids, and gases. Look all around you. What do you see? Everything you see is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Think about something you can hold in your hand, like a pencil. How is that pencil different from something you can pour, like milk? How are the pencil and the milk different from the air you breathe? Everything around you is a type of matter, even the things you can't see. Many Kinds of Matter by Jennifer Boothroyd Matter is everywhere. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Mass is the amount of material in an object. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. Trees, lakes, and people are matter. All have mass and volume. There are three kinds of matter. The three kinds of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Solids. Books, rocks, and toys are solids. Solid matter holds its own shape. Solids do not take the shape of their container. Marbles fill a jar, but the marbles are still round. Books are one example of a solid. The shape of solids does not change when you put them in a container. Solids are not easy to compress. Compress means to squeeze something into a tight space. Bottles and cans are solids. It's not easy to squeeze them into this recycling bin. Solids do not flow. Solid candies don't spread across ice cream the way hot fudge sauce does. Candy sprinkles are solids. They do not flow over ice cream. Liquids. Oil, syrup, and water are liquids. Liquid matter does not hold its own shape. Liquids take the shape of their container. Water inside a swimming pool takes on the shape of the pool. Oil is one example of a liquid. Water in a square pool takes on a square shape. Liquids are not easy to compress. Milk is a liquid. You couldn't fit the milk in the jug into the little carton. Liquids flow. Liquid syrup spreads across pancakes. Gases. Air, steam, and your breath are gases. Gas matter does not hold its own shape. Gases take the shape of their container. The air inside a hot air balloon takes on the shape of the balloon. Your breath is one example of a gas. Gases are easy to compress. Carbon dioxide is a gas. It's inside soda cans. It's squeezed into the cans to give the soda bubbles. Carbon dioxide rushes out of soda cans when you open them. Gases flow. The air inside a bubble spreads to fill the space inside the bubble. Matter and changes. Matter can change from one kind to another. Some solids can change to liquids. Some liquids can change to gases. Water is a special kind of matter. You know that water is a liquid. But it can easily be found in all three forms on our planet. 
The liquid in this cup is changing to a gas. Water becomes a solid if it is cooled. It turns into ice. Water turns into ice when it freezes. Water freezes when it reaches a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius. Water becomes a gas if it is heated. It turns into steam. Water turns into steam when it boils. Water boils when it reaches a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. Water at any temperature can change into water vapor. Water vapor is a gas. This change is called evaporation. Some people use a drying rack after washing their dishes. The dishes dry after the water evaporates. Water vapor changes back into liquid water when it cools in the air. This change is called condensation. You can see condensation after a hot shower. The water vapor touches the shower door and turns back into a liquid. Have you ever seen condensation on a shower door? Other matter can change forms too. Cheese is a solid. It melts when it gets hot. It changes to a liquid. Bread dipped in melted cheese is a tasty treat. Juice is a liquid. It freezes when it gets cold. It changes to a solid. Ice pops can be made by freezing juice. We use solids, liquids, and gases every day. They are an important part of our lives and our planet. Turn and talk. Use details from many kinds of matter to answer these questions with a partner. Once, make inferences. Look at the cup on page 134. What is causing the liquid in that cup to change to a gas? How do you know? Two, compare the three kinds of matter. How are solids, liquids, and gases the same? How are they different? Three. What examples does the text give for each kind of matter? What other examples can you name? Listening tip. Listen politely to your partner and wait until it is your turn to speak.